It's now been about three weeks since Princess Peach Showtime released, and we're approaching the first month anniversary, but there was something that happened in the game that definitely caught my eye and a lot of other fans out there. Princess Peach has many transformations in the game, but there's one special one at the very end that really changes what Peach looks like, and actually how she functions entirely. This transformation had me scratching my head because as cool as it was, it also had me questioning a lot about Peach's character. It also left me on a wild goose chase to figure out if she was related to a certain cosmic someone. But before we get started, of course, spoiler alert, we're talking about the end of Princess Peach Showtime because it leads us to some pretty crazy conclusions. And once again, this is all just a theory. None of this is completely confirmed or even a little bit confirmed by Nintendo. So remember that. You guys have absolutely been killing it with subscriptions lately. Literally every video is getting over 200 brand new subscribers. And you guys are really trying to push for the 300,000 subscriber mark we've been trying to reach for so long. So I want to stop and say thank you so so much you guys are amazing we are trying to reach this goal we are getting super super close each and every day so if you enjoy this video stop what you're doing leave a like and subscribe it'll only take a second but now it's time to jump into the video so at the very end of princess peach showtime all the sparklers that you save actually join together in order to give peach the ultimate sparkle power where she combines with stella now thanks to the power of the sparkle it seems to also be peach's ultimate transformation as if this is who she's meant to become there's also of course a chance that this is just pure power of the sparkle and that if anybody had all the sparkle power they would turn into a sparkle version of themselves but this seems to also just alter peach's dress and just kind of change her appearance slightly into a new one so yes this actually turns peach into a new form called radiant peach and this transformation isn't just for looks it actually gives peach the power of sparkle you can even see it glow in her eyes when she transforms you can see her crown is almost in the form of a sparkle and you can see sparkle aura just kind of dripping from her, her arms and underneath her dress. She's completely indulged in this sparkle. And with this new transformation, she's able to fly around and even fire sparkle projectiles as she's flying around the stage. It isn't until phase two with Madame Grape where she needs to level up even more, where she then turns into Super Radiant Peach. This gives her a bigger crown, a slightly different dress, a bigger dress altogether, and just a little bit of a different look. She's once again able to fly around the stage, but this time she has a sparkle beam, which actually allows her to shoot a giant beam of light at Madame Great, cracking her mask. Not too long after that, she charges up a peach missile sort of attack and launches herself at Madame Great, completely defeating her in the process. It's a pretty cool cinematic scene, and clearly Peach is at her all-time most powerful form here. That was a quick recap of the ending of Princess Peach Showtime, but what does that have to do with our overall comparison here? Well, if you watched any of this gameplay, is absolutely no doubt in your mind what this looks like. Yeah, she looks just like Wario. I'm kidding. Just relax. No, but seriously, it's very hard to not see where I'm going here. Yeah. Princess Peach looks exactly like Rosalina in this scene. I mean, there's so many comparisons to make, she's very, very spot on to the same look, even with the dress color and the dress design, and a lot more details as well, and I'll just show you some of them. Let's talk about her arms and hands first. In Princess Peach Showtime, when she turns into Super Radiant Peach, she gets these purple slash pink nails, very similar to that of Rosalina's nails, and also her cuffs on her dress are actually very similar as well, and they look just like Rosalina's dress. It's not just her arms and her hands, let's even look at the dress entirely, because she has very similar looking heels, not the same color, but they do look the same. Her dress is very similar, with the same slit along the bottom, with a second portion underneath that first slit. And if you look to the top of the dress, she still has an emblem crested on her chest right by her neck area, where Rosalina has a yellow gem with a 5 point star around it, and Radiant Peach has a blue gem with an 8 point star around it, forming more of a spark gym instead of a star. Now the crown is obviously completely different, but it does look like their hair is kind of trying to resemble each other, where Rosalina has very long hair all the way down her back, and it looks like Peach is able to let her hair down just as long as well with this transformation. Now something else that I found interesting is that Peach's blue orb earrings turn into a white fluorescent, almost light blue look, and it kind of resembles the picture of Rosalina's mom from the storybooks in Mario Galaxy. And if you cover Peach's face, 
I mean, they kind of look alike. It's actually kind of scary. I will admit, this part could be kind of a reach, but Super Radiant Peach actually turns into like this human missile with this aura around her as she's beaming towards Madame Grape in order to defeat her. And this just looks very similar to, once again, something that we've seen already. Yes, it reminded me a lot of the ending scene where Rosalina was preparing to send the observatory to the center of the galaxy in order to fight Bowser, where she literally transforms the observatory into a rocket homing comet that charges straight towards Bowser. Actually, I did scratch my head a little bit at this, as both scenes seem kind of familiar. And I can't lie, I'm gonna reach even a little bit more. When Super Radiant Peach charges Madame Grape, you'll notice all these sparkle gems shooting out from beneath her and it looks very similar to those of star bits but obviously only being in the colors of radiant peach with some whites blues purples and pinks but you can't deny they do somewhat have a shape very similar to star bits not exactly the same but very similar so the main question is does peach and rosalina share some type of connection do they have the same power do they come from the same person what's the deal here well i have a couple theories of what could be going on. The first thought is maybe Rosalina is some sort of radiant powered up being as well. We know she has powers and thanks to her wand she can actually do specific things like spawn lumas and even fly across the galaxy and control her comet observatory and breathe in space. And thanks to the storybook and the pictures that come along with it, we know that she was a princess down on earth somewhere with her family in some type of kingdom somewhere. We don't know any more information about that, it was very brief, but we know she comes from earth as well. So maybe this power to developed thanks to some type of radiant energy that caused her to transform into what she is today, allowing her to float and use her wand for magical powers. In fact, if you look closer, you can see the iris of Rosalina's eye has tons of pointed, sharp, triangle-like shapes all around it, almost looking like that of a sparkle gem. Also, the magic that she produces is also very similar colors that we've seen from Radiant Peach with whites, blues, purples, and pinks. So what if this is just a straight-up radiant form of what Princess Rosalina was, and then eventually maybe she could even transform into a super radiant form that's more powerful and more epic looking than this. Something else that was very strange to me is the way that Stella looked in Princess Peach Showtime. She kind of had this sparkle shaped head that was all yellow, and a body with the same exact colorway as Rosalina, even with the little tapestry along the bottom. I mean, it literally looks like Rosalina in some type of small star spirit form. Now, we know Stella is just simply the guardian of the sparkle theater, so I don't know if it has any more relevancy to Rosalina than that. Now, could Peach have some type of ancestry related to Rosalina? Well, it's hard to say, but we do know from the original developers that it was actually planned for Rosalina and Peach to be related when working on Super Mario Galaxy, and in fact, they actually were going to go with it until later changing the story and making them non-related. Now, just because they didn't go with that storyline, or at least didn't do it yet, doesn't mean they can't do it in the future. Maybe there's a reason we haven't got Mario Galaxy 2 on the Switch yet, because maybe there's a Mario Galaxy 3 being planned or something, or maybe they want to change the story or something with Mario Galaxy 2. I don't know. Yeah, that's a stretch, but maybe there's still some future story that we really don't know about Rosalina and Princess Peach. I mean, after all, in the Mario Brothers movie, it kind of teased something with Rosalina, or maybe even Mario Galaxy in general. In the scene where they're all outside in the Fire Flower field, Mario states, you don't seem like you're from around here to Princess Peach. He then goes on to say, I don't know where I come from. Mario suggests maybe you're from my world, a human just like him. She doesn't even give that idea the time of day. Instead, she just states there's a whole universe out there and a lot of galaxies. I mean, come on, she's literally like teasing Mario Galaxy to some capacity. After all, none of the video games actually do tell us where Princess Peach comes from and why she's like the only human being within the Mushroom Kingdom. In fact, the movie is the first time we get some concrete evidence of recent years about where she could have came from, and it only shows a scene of baby Peach walking through the warp pipe coming from some other destination. Maybe it is the real world, or maybe it actually is some far off kingdom or galaxy far away. For Rosalina's origins, we know that she comes from some kingdom with her mom and the rest of her family somewhere on Earth before she initially left them once her mom passed. But perhaps they came from the same kingdom, but they both separated, where Peach went to a completely different kingdom with the Mushroom Kingdom and Rosalina went up into space, but maybe they have the same origins somehow? There's also a pretty wacky theory that suggests out there that what if Mario and Peach had a baby and that's Rosalina and like there's some type of time warp thing thing where Rosalina comes from a, you know, future timeline or something. Like, that would be crazy. 
but she doesn't really look like Mario at all. And I think Mario and Peach's kid would be very distinctively looking compared to what Rosalina looks like with Mario's big nose and little plump body. So, yeah. But I don't know. That whole time theory thing is crazy unless Nintendo one day decides to go with it. I don't think that's anywhere near canon. There's still the comparison of the earrings with her mom and the fact that they kind of match. But it's hard to say. And that's just probably a stretch as well. But we also know Princess Peach is a very powerful character as well outside of Princess Peach Showtime and she holds power to that of a star sprite, just like Starlo from Mario & Luigi, but I guess we'll never completely know if Peach and Rosalina are related until Nintendo gives us another piece of information about Rosalina, or if they bring her back in a mainline Mario game in some capacity. But let me know in the comments down below what you think about this theory, and if you agree or disagree, or if you found any other bit of information that could support or dispute this theory. Thank you so much everybody for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.